Hey everyone, welcome back to our Power Rangers ranking series. We've already done the Red and Blue Rangers, but today's a big one. We're ranking the Yellow Rangers. Yep, the Yellow Rangers have always been some of the most dynamic characters, and I can't wait to dive into this. But I have a feeling this one's going to get... heated. Oh, you already know! I've got some very strong opinions about some of these Rangers. So get ready, because I'm not holding back. Great, here we go. Okay, let's start with the original Yellow Ranger. Trini from Mighty Morphin Power Rangers. She was calm, collected, and one of the best fighters on the team. I think she's more phenomenal without question. Agreed. Trini was an integral part of the original team. She didn't need to be loud or flashy. She just handled business. Plus, her martial arts skills were some of the best. I'm definitely on board with more phenomenal. Wait, wait, wait! You're both just gonna give her more phenomenal like it's no big deal? I mean, come on! Trini was fine, but she wasn't doing anything extraordinary. She was just... there. I say solid at best. Are you serious, Davis? She was calm and strategic. Her fighting style was what made her stand out. Not everyone has to be loud to be great, you know. Yeah, Trini was the glue that held the team together. She didn't need to scream to make an impact. If anything, her quiet strength made her one of the best. Fine, but I just don't see her as more phenomenal. She didn't have the leadership moments other Yellow Rangers had. I still say solid. Fine, we'll go with goaded because TK and I know how to compromise. Happy now? Next up is Aisha, who took over from Trini. She had a lot of energy and brought something totally different to the table. Yeah, Aisha was more outgoing and brought a lot of charisma to the team. Plus, she was brave enough to give up being a ranger to stay behind and help a community in need. That's a big leadership move. I'm thinking goaded. Hold on! No way is she just goaded! She's more phenomenal, easily! She brought so much fire and excitement. She took the Yellow Ranger role and made it her own. You guys are always talking about leadership, and Aisha showed it when she left to stay in Africa. She had the guts to make tough decisions. I'm with Davis on this one. Aisha wasn't just about fun. She had heart, and she could step up when the team needed her. She has to be more phenomenal. Okay, I can see the argument. She was more than just energetic. She had leadership qualities too. I'll agree, more phenomenal for Aisha. Glad you both came to your senses. Moving on. Now Tydeus from Alien Rangers. I'm just gonna say it. He didn't really make much of an impact. He was strong and quiet, but barely memorable. I'm thinking mid. Mid? You're being generous, man. Tydeus was background noise. He wasn't bad, but did anyone really care about him? I'd put him in trash. Trash is a bit harsh. He wasn't great, but the Alien Rangers didn't get the character development they deserved. I think Mid is fair. He did what he had to do, but nothing more. Nah, I'm not budging. He's trash to me. We're not putting him in trash. He wasn't that bad. Mid makes sense. Fine, Mid, but he's barely hanging on there. Tanya from Zeo. I loved her. She was thrown into being a ranger without much preparation, but she adapted quickly and showed a lot of strength. She was compassionate and brave. I think she's more phenomenal. Yeah, Tanya had a lot of depth. She brought something new to the team and wasn't just another fighter. She had a lot of heart, and you could tell she genuinely cared about her friends and the mission. I'm going with more phenomenal. Really? I mean, she was good, but she didn't do anything crazy. Like, I barely remember any standout moments from her. I'd say solid. Davis, come on. Tanya had tons of great moments. She wasn't flashy, but she was always there for the team. That is standout in my book. She was consistent, reliable, and never backed down. That's worth more phenomenal. Oh, fine. More phenomenal. But you guys are too generous. All right, Ashley. She was the Yellow Ranger in Turbo and in Space. For me, she got a lot better in In Space. She showed more leadership and compassion. I agree. Ashley was a strong member of the team by InSpace, but I wouldn't put her in more phenomenal. I'd say solid. She had good moments, but she wasn't always front and center. Finally, we agree on something. Solid is right. She was good, but nothing special. Definitely not goaded or more phenomenal. Yeah, solid fits. She was dependable, but not quite top tier. Maya was cool, but a bit underdeveloped. I liked her connection to nature and the Galacta Beasts, but she didn't have many standout moments beyond that. I liked her vibe, but I agree. She wasn't given a lot to work with in terms of character development. 
I'm thinking mid. She was fun to watch, but yeah, nothing mind-blowing. Mid seems right for her. All right, mid it is. Kelsey, now we're talking. She was always jumping off buildings, doing crazy stunts. She was fearless. I say goaded. Kelsey was definitely high energy and fun to watch, but she didn't have as much character growth as some of the others. She was more of a thrill seeker than a leader. I'm thinking solid. I liked Kelsey, but TK has a point. She was always fun and adventurous, but she didn't go through the same development as, say, Katie or Tanya. I'd say solid. Solid? You two are crazy. She was out there risking it all every episode. Yeah, and that's great, but it doesn't make her goaded. Solid is a fair ranking. Whatever, solid, but you're both wrong. Katie from Time Force was the powerhouse. She had super strength, but she was also incredibly caring and emotional. She was the emotional anchor of the team. I think she's more phenomenal. Katie was great. She was tough, but always looking out for her friends. She brought a lot of heart to the team. Definitely more phenomenal. Okay, I'm with you two on this one. Katie was a beast, but she was also super sweet. More phenomenal for sure. Wow, we all agree. This is a rare moment. Taylor was the original leader of the Wild Force team, and she had that strict, no-nonsense attitude thanks to her military background. She was tough as nails, but she learned to soften up over time and trust her team more. I think her leadership puts her in more phenomenal. Oh, Taylor was awesome. She started off so strict, but by the end, she was way more likable. I'm fine with more phenomenal for her. Looks like we're in agreement. Taylor is more phenomenal. Dustin was the goofball of the team, but that's why I loved him. He was hilarious, but when it was time to fight, he stepped up. I'd say solid. I love Dustin's energy, but he was a bit too goofy at times. He didn't always take things seriously, which hurt his leadership. I'd say mid. Yeah, Dustin was fun, but I think his goofiness held him back. I'm with Kari on this one, mid. You guys have no sense of humor. Fine, mid, but Dustin deserved better. Kira was one of the best Yellow Rangers in my opinion. She was tough, confident, and had one of the best arcs. She went from being independent to fully embracing her role as a team player. I'd put her in more phenomenal. Kira had great character development, and her music career subplot added a unique layer to her. She was also a strong fighter. More phenomenal works for me. Kira rocked, literally. She was tough and could hold her own in any fight. More phenomenal for sure. Looks like Kira is more phenomenal. Z from SPD had the unique ability to duplicate herself, which gave her an edge in combat. I really liked Z's sense of justice. She always looked out for the little guy and wasn't afraid to challenge authority. I think she's solid. Z was cool, but not super memorable for me. I'm good with solid. Agreed. She was dependable, but not at the top. Solid it is. All right. Chip from Mystic Force. He was the team's quirky, enthusiastic magic fan. And honestly, I loved his energy. He was always positive, but maybe a little too eager at times. Chip was definitely unique. He had that childlike wonder and excitement about being a ranger, which was refreshing. But he could be a bit over the top. Still, he had a lot of heart. I'd say he's solid. You guys are underplaying how awesome Chip was. He was hilarious, and the dude loved being a ranger more than anyone else. That enthusiasm was contagious. I'm saying more phenomenal. He was fun, I'll give you that. But sometimes it felt like he wasn't taking things seriously enough. I think solid works. He wasn't at the top but he wasn't bad either. Yeah, Chip was great for morale, but he didn't have those leadership moments we'd expect from a top tier ranger. However, let's split the difference and put him in goaded. That cool? Fine, I'll respect the goaded tier. So, Ronnie from Operation Overdrive, she was the speedster, always rushing into action, and she had a competitive spirit. Ronnie was the most likable of the Overdrive team, but I feel like she didn't grow much as a character. She was mostly just about being fast and winning. I'm leaning toward mid for her. Facts! Ronnie was all about speed and racing, but she didn't stand out at all in the leadership or development departments. Mid sounds about right for her. Agreed. She wasn't horrible, but compared to other Yellow Rangers, she didn't have much depth. Mid for Ronnie. Now, Lily from Jungle Fury. I loved her. She was the heart of the team, always trying to keep everyone positive and she was a great fighter. She had this amazing balance of kindness and strength. Lily was great. She was the emotional core of the team, but still kicked some serious butt when it came down to it. 
I think she's definitely more phenomenal. Finally, we agree on something again. Lily was awesome. She was sweet, but she wasn't afraid to throw down when she had to. Just like Katie, she's more phenomenal all the way. No argument here. Lily had everything you'd want in a Yellow Ranger. Strength, compassion, and leadership. More phenomenal for sure. Summer from RPM might be one of the most well-developed Yellow Rangers. She started out spoiled and selfish, but her character arc was incredible. She became one of the most selfless and reliable Rangers. Absolutely. Summer's character growth is one of the best in the entire series. She had a real transformation and ended up being the heart of her team. I'd say she's more phenomenal. Yeah, I can't even argue this one. Summer was legit. She had one of the best character arcs, and she was a total boss by the end. More phenomenal for sure. Once again, we're all in agreement. Summer is more phenomenal. Emily from Samurai was definitely sweet and kind-hearted. She was the youngest of the team and often doubted herself. But she was always there when her friends needed her. Emily was very likable, but she struggled with confidence throughout the series. She had a lot of heart, but she didn't have as many highlight moments as some of the other Yellow Rangers. I'm leaning towards Solid. Emily was nice, but she was kind of only just there. I'd put her in mid. She didn't have that much of an impact. I think mid is a little harsh. Sure, she wasn't the most confident, but she had some great moments where she stepped up and proved herself. I think Solid is fair. Yeah, Solid feels right. She had the heart of a ranger, but didn't have the standout moments. Oh, you two are a couple of goody goods. Gia from Megaforce was tough, confident, and easily one of the best parts of that team, if not the entire two seasons. She didn't take any nonsense and was always ready to fight. Gia was definitely one of the strongest characters in Megaforce. She had a natural leadership quality and was probably the most capable fighter on her team. I'm thinking more phenomenal. Oh, 100%. Gia was awesome. She always had that cool don't mess with me vibe and she was probably the best thing about Megaforce. More phenomenal all day. Gia was a standout ranger and really carried her team at times. More phenomenal it is. Now we've got Calvin from Ninja Steel. He was the mechanic of the team, always working on his car and coming up with practical solutions. He was laid back, but definitely reliable. Calvin was great at handling the technical side of things, but I feel like he lacked a bit in the ranger department. He was dependable, but he wasn't really one to take charge. I'd put him in solid. I'll hold up. Calvin was awesome. He wasn't flashy, but the dude was always stepping up when something needed fixing or when things got tough. Plus, he was super chill, which I think is underrated. I'm putting him in more phenomenal. Actually, I think that's part of Calvin's problem. He wasn't as dependable as you're making him out to be. Remember when he and Haley broke up because of his laid-back attitude? His whole thing was that he wasn't pulling his weight in the relationship. That laziness wasn't just a personality quirk. It was something he had to work on. Right. That's a huge part of his arc. He was laid back to a fault, to the point where it affected his relationship with Haley. That breakup wasn't just filler. It was part of his character development. He had to grow up and become more responsible. And it wasn't until after that growth that they got back together. Okay, sure, he had that one bump with Haley, but that was just personal stuff. When it came to being a ranger, he was always dependable. He still fixed stuff. He still showed up for the big battles. Come on, he wasn't that bad. But Davis, that is the point. His lackadaisical nature affected more than just his relationship. It reflected on how he approached being a ranger at times. He was competent when he was focused, but he wasn't always that focused. He wasn't as proactive as some of the other Yellow Rangers. Even in battle, it took him a while to become fully dependable. Exactly. He grew by the end, but that doesn't mean he was always reliable throughout the season. He needed that push to realize how much was at stake and step up to the level of the others. That's why I think he's solid, not more phenomenal. Okay, fine, I'll admit it. Calvin did have some lazy moments, but that's part of what made him interesting. He wasn't perfect, and he had to learn. Still, I think you guys are being a little harsh, but I'll settle on solid, even if I don't agree 100%. Glad you could see it our way. Solid feels like the right place for Calvin. He definitely had the potential to be goaded, or even more phenomenal, but he didn't quite reach it. Yep, 
Solid for Calvin it is. He's a great character, but his journey was about learning to step up, and he wasn't consistently reliable throughout. Last but not least, Zoe from Beast Morphers was a washed out recruit before accidentally being chosen as a ranger. But she brought such tenacity and curiosity into her role. She was always thinking outside the box and never backed down from a challenge. I really liked Zoe's determination. She wasn't the strongest fighter at first, but she was clever and always found a way to win. I'd say goaded. She had a great mix of intelligence and bravery. Zoe was cool, but I wouldn't put her at the same level as someone like Trini or Chip. She was smart, but didn't have those big standout moments for me. I'm going with Solid. Zoe was resourceful and always thinking on her feet. She was one of the most determined Yellow Rangers we've seen. I think she deserves goaded at the very least. She had a lot of standout moments, especially with how often she led the team in different situations. All right, fine. Goaded. But just know, she's barely scraping it for me. Well, there you have it. We've ranked all the Yellow Rangers, and there were definitely some heated moments. But I think we got there in the end. Yeah, we finally landed on some solid rankings, even if Davis made things a bit difficult. Hey, I'm here to keep things interesting, but we ended up with a pretty good list. Let us know in the comments if you agree with our rankings, or if you think we were totally off. And don't forget to like and subscribe for more Ranger debates. Until next time, stay more phenomenal. Wild Force, Master Orb, let's prepare for five more. Wipe the floor, break off the horn.